our honorable speakers, guests, and attendees of Innovate Pinas 2023. Good afternoon. I'm Christian Lucas, the project leader of Alama Project, technology development, commercialization, and promotion of Guitar Anyone. So back in 2014, when we were proposing the Guitar Anyone, we asked the question, what happened to the local brands? In terms of the Philippine economy, the guitar making industry contributes to less than 2% of our country's GDP. Comparing that to the U.S. market, they have a staggering 560 billion peso worth of guitar industry. The sad reality is that our local classical guitar brands can hardly compete with imported brands, and thus the Guitar Anyone project. After the project, we were able to design a prototype which is more sustainable and way more cheaper than the traditional spruce. During 2018, there was an opportunity for technopreneurship training called the Leaders in Innovation Fellowship Program. So shown here is the incremental cash flow, which I pitched to potential investors. In terms of positioning, the GNG guitars are priced at between 13,000 pesos to 20,000 pesos, which is still more expensive than the imported brands. But in terms of quality, it's pretty competitive. We ask a lot of people for comments on the prototypes. Most of them are already satisfied with the sound quality and playability. Uh, we identified rooms for improvement in aesthetics and also in the pricing. And as for the investors, they were quite hesitant to use the technology. So in the end, we were not able to find a licensee for the GNJ technology. And at that time, William was unemployed, and with all the training and knowledge I gained from LIF, that's the time when William and I decided to put up our own company. And shortly, there was a call for proposal for the Fast Track program. They offer support for product development, business development, and also for promotional activities. So when the project was approved in 2020, we were able to further the product development through design and prototyping, Aside from product development, we also did business development and our primary objective was to establish an SEC registered corporation. And we also had support for IP and licensing. So the GNJ technology is actually a portfolio of IPs and we were able to draft a license agreement with the help of the legal office from the university. And right now we are already preparing for the fairness opinion evaluation. Also included in the fast track is the push for mass production. So we acquired tools and lab supplies during the project. Initially, we planned to do that in a university setup, but because of the strict lockdowns and the hassle of logistics, we just used our own backyard shop in Darwin. So we also had lots of guitar molding kits in preparation for the production of 100 units. And aside from that, we had guitar training, which is capacity building for new luthiers. At the moment, we already had eight new workers. So I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this during the pandemic when we were all working from home. So in 2023, we participated in the Pasinaya Festival, wherein we also showcased our Alama guitars in the Palitan exhibit. So we also had virtual events. We participated in Likha Innovate, Let's Link, and the Tech Talk. Aside from that, we also have Bayani Hansa Diliman, wherein we participated along with the local SMEs. Now, after Fast Track, what happens next? We plan on using more automation to help us speed up the production. And aside from that, we are also focusing on our Facebook page. Now I'm taking this opportunity for you to check out our page and follow us. So looking at the timeline, we finished the Guitar Anyone project in 2016. And it took us four years before the IP was filed. And during that time, we also started the Fast Track project. And after three years, we are already officially an SEC registered corporation. And Looking forward, we're aiming towards scaling up, having mass production, giving more jobs to our fellow Filipinos. 
and hopefully we can make the guitar industry big that it will make a dent in our Philippine economy. So if you want to know more about the Fast Track project, feel free to contact me, William or Mom Tina. And that would be it. Thanks for listening to my presentation and have a good day.